Pulse Live from the point of Saginaw and Washington streets in beautiful downtown Durand, Michigan. First Congregational Church presents Cafe Depot, a five-minute devotion that fits seamlessly with your day with an encouraging biblical thought designed to lift your spirit and point you to Jesus Christ. Thanks for clicking the start button. God bless you. Well, hi there. It's Thursday here in beautiful downtown Durand, Michigan, October 5th, 2023. I'm your host, Pastor Steve Wood. Welcome to this edition of Cafe Devo. Of course, you know my pal Bugsy. He's hanging out over there in his usual spot, holding down the fort and taking care of, well, whatever it is he takes care of. <laughs> I hope your Thursday is going well. Once again, today we return to the book Truth for Life, the two-volume set of Pastor Alistair Begg's collection of daily devotions. Volume 2 is copyright 2022, The Good Book Company. As for me, my feet had almost stumbled. My steps had nearly slipped. For I was envious of the arrogant when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. Psalm 73 verses 2 and 3. When you and I consider the activities and successes of the self-important who seem to be so carefree and uninhibited, it's easy for our minds, our hearts, and eventually our lives to drift off in the wrong direction. We can relate to the psalmist's angst when those who are so apparently opposed to God, His Word, His Church, and to anything that is morally right, appear to flourish in this life. They seem to do well financially. They seem to do well physically. They always seem to look good. They travel in the right way and take big vacations. They use the right moisturizer. They look magnificent. Meanwhile, we're trying to live life in Christ and nothing seems to go right. At times, I know it can seem so very futile. When he looked at the prosperity of the wicked, the psalmist began to entertain the notion that he had actually followed God in vain, Psalm 73, 13. But then he adjusted his perspective in Psalm 73, verses 17 through 19. I went into the sanctuary of God, then I discerned their end. Truly, you set them in slippery places. You make them fall to ruin how they are destroyed in a moment, swept away utterly by terror. As we learn to sit in God's presence and have a view of this life that takes into account his divinity and our eternity, we come to understand along with the psalmist that there is a higher throne than all the thrones of this world. Justice will be served, though not in the courts of this world's kingdoms, which will all be mere footnotes in history. Do not become discouraged by those who seem to prosper, my friends. Jesus Christ is King. He is in charge of the great reversals, turning us from darkness to light, from sadness to joy, from death to life. God will achieve His purposes. He is holding you and I and guiding us And one day, we will stand with him in glory. Psalm 73, 23 and 24. So there is nothing this world can offer that compares to him, and no reason to envy those who seem to have everything, but nothing of ultimate value. When you are slipping into envy, look to Christ. Adjust your perspective and echo the words of the psalmist in verses 25 and 26. Whom have I in heaven but you? And there is nothing on earth that I desire besides you. My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. For more on this, go to the Old Testament and read the 73rd Psalm. Remind us today, Father, once again, that this life is not all there is. We understand envy. 
We grow discouraged at times when it seems those who are so blatantly not following you seem to succeed, seem to be living a blessed life. Help us to check our envy, Lord, to trust you, to allow you to work as you choose and to submit ourselves to your plan. Help us in these things, Lord, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, that'll do it for us on this Thursday edition of Cafe Devo. Thanks for joining me. I hope our time together was a blessing to you. I'm Pastor Steve Wood signing off for now. God bless you, my friends. I'll see you tomorrow.